guys. So if you like rock music like I do, you'll know that May is kind of unofficially rock festival month. And so in the spirit of that, today's video is going to be a hopefully pretty quick tutorial on a rock festival eye makeup look that I've been really itching to do for a while. So two of my favorite colors together, like combination of colors, is pink and black. So I really want to do something like that on my eyes. We'll kind of see where we go with it. But the important part for this too is use what you like on the rest of your face. And I know that a lot of y'all are probably not that interested in rock music, and that is totally okay. This is not necessarily something that you have to wear to a rock festival. It's just something that I would wear to a rock festival. Luke, you just opened all the doors, kitty. Yeah, you. So, in the spirit of all that rocks, let's get started. So one of the things that I have only used one time, so I haven't really gotten the chance to play around with it that much, is the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. And this is what I want to use for most of my colors today. I think the only thing that we're missing really is the pink. So for everything else, we're going to try to go into this bad boy. This is ridiculous. This is huge and there's like just a million colors just it's huge. So to go all over the lid today I'm gonna go with this kind of light very light like pale taupey shade balm. We're gonna do that one first. And I'm just taking a little fluffy brush and we're gonna put this all over the lid and up in the crease. We're using this as our base shade and we're gonna build everything else on top of this. For the next shade, I'm going to take the exact same brush that I just used all over the eye and we're going to go just one step darker and we're going to use this shade right here called Suede and we're going to do this just in the crease. And for Suede, unlike Bone, I only dipped the very tip of the brush into the shade instead of, I kind of tapped the whole brush into Bone. I'm doing just the tip of the brush to be a little more precise in the crease with suede. Okay, so now is when we're really going to start building up the color. I'm going to go in with this shade here called Oak, which is pretty dark. And what I'm going to do is just focus it on the outer portion of the crease and kind of in this outer V to start darkening up this outer half of the eye. This is another one that it is extremely pigmented, so you want to start very lightly just building up the color to get it where you want. It's okay if it takes you a little longer, you just don't want to go in with a heavy hand because this one, I can already tell, will be super easy to look like a hot mess. Now this is the second time that I've actually dipped into this color and I've gone over this and I'm kind of at the point now where I'm getting to the intensity that I want, but with looks where you're going really dark or just very dramatic, it's really important to just take your time. It's not going to happen in like two minutes, and it's okay if it takes a while. It, the key really is just to have some patience and be willing to really work up to what you want, otherwise you're going to look like... I don't know, a raccoon and a clown combined. <laughs> now even though this isn't quite going to be a halo look with the eyeshadow, I am going to take a little bit of this very, very lightly because this can go wrong very quickly, especially with my skin because it's so pale. These darker colors stand out a lot. So I'm going to dip in really lightly back into oak, so that dark brown shade. And I'm going to put it very lightly, like, towards the inner portion of my eye, near the inner corner. Because the pink is what's really going to pop towards the middle-ish. We'll see when it's done. But very lightly, start tapping 
that dark brown in the inner portion of your lid but don't really go in the inner corner otherwise you're just gonna look dirty and nobody wants that y'all I am so sorry I have laundry going in the background and no matter what I do no matter how many doors I close this cat keeps coming in here and opening that door just so everybody can hear it dirty okay so now we're getting to the really fun part this can go wrong really quickly again if you do this with a heavy hand but we're gonna go into this shade here this is pure black it's the shade jet it is literally jet black and we're gonna start building this extremely slowly out here where you've already put the dark color but just focusing on that outer corner of your eye on both sides and we'll see about the inner corner I haven't decided about that yet it depends how brave I'm feeling so very lightly tap your brush into that black shade and just start building it just in the outer V that outer corner of your eye and start building this up to the intensity that you want so if you don't want it too black don't go there you know stop where you're comfortable but I'm gonna see if I can get some pretty nice black pigment out of this we'll see where it goes once you've got the eyeshadow kind of where you want it and like the intensity black that you want go back in well this is a good time to go back in with the first brush that you use the kind of fluffy one and just very lightly go over the crease area to blend out any of those harsh lines because black especially you're gonna have harsh lines no matter how good you blend so don't forget to go back over it very lightly just to blend everything out so it looks seamless I also decided to go in to the inner portion of my lid and do that black shade very lightly because the brush I'm using is a really small like little tapered brush so it, it allows a lot of precision especially in small areas so I think we'll be okay I'm not gonna mess up too badly so blown off the excess and I'm going in just into the corner right here to deepen it up a little bit so we're done with the metal matte palette for now the only palette I could find that has the pink shade that I'm looking for and I'm looking for like electric pink is the urban decay urban spectrum eyeshadow palette and I haven't actually used this before because I was waiting for a time when I would really need these crazy shades and today is one of them so there's a really bright pink right here called backlash that has some shimmer in it I think this is gonna be great so we're gonna use this shade right in the middle of each lid where you still kind of have a little bit of your own lid showing and we're gonna use a flat brush to tap this on the center now the pink shade, just like the black ones, this whole look is like an exercise in patience. You're going to have to take your time to build this up because you go in too heavy, you're going to get this all over your face because most, most really pigmented shades are going to have a bunch of fallout no matter what brand you get, how good it is, how cheap it is, there's going to be fallout. So just be prepared, take your time. It's gonna come out great okay so because this is not really the pink I was looking for I was hoping it would be a little more metallic it's just not I'm gonna use this ColourPop super shock shadow in drift and just tap a little bit of it on the center of the lid and kind of see what happens I don't know what it's gonna look oh that's deep I'm just gonna see what happens oh this is much nicer all right team we got a winner Okay, so the Super Shock Shadow worked out a lot better uh, than the regular pink because they're just more pigmented and that's what I was looking for was just like, bam, pop of color. So now, 
I kind of want to redefine some of that black, so I'm going to take the same brush that I used before, the little tapered brush, and go back into the metal matte palette with the black just to kind of blend everything together, and then we'll get to the lower lash line and we're done. Okay, now you're going to take the same pencil brush that you just used to kind of redefine the black and go back in. Actually, I lied. We're going to go in with a mix of jet and oak, so the black and that really dark brown shade, and we're going to run it under the lower lash line, but stop maybe about a little over halfway because we're going to do the rest with that really pretty pink color. Alright, once you've got the black and the brown on your lower lash line, you can go ahead and dip back in to either the bright pink shadow or you can go back in with the one that I liked a little bit better. I'm just going to take my pinky, ooh that was a lot, and tap it right in the middle under my lash line to line up with the pink on the top. So you're kind of going with a stripe of the pink color. So once I was done with the lower lash line, all I did was put on one coat of mascara and I'm kind of regretting now not going out and getting a really dramatic pair of falsies because I think that this look would look just even that much more dramatic and awesome with a really cool pair of falsies. So that's a big fail on my part. Now I'm kind of debating between a couple of different things for the lips. I can go really dark which I'm kind of thinking I want to do. A little less dark, or we can just go really pink. Alright, I've tested it. Let's just go dark. Let's just do it. So I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in Devil's Food Cake. And we're just going to see how this looks. But, I mean, we've already gone dark. We may as well complete the look. And, I mean, we got to be as dark as my heart. So, let's keep it going. Okay, so we ended up kind of going from rock festival to goth festival, <laughs> just a little bit, but I actually really like how it turned out, and if I'm being completely honest, if I was going to a rock festival, I would totally wear this, because that's just how I am, you know, I really like dark makeup on my skin, because yes, it's easy to mess up, because I'm super pale, but it also stands out a ton, because... If you do it right, it looks amazing. I know this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but like I said, you know, you don't have to do everything that I did. If you want to try to recreate this, you can use lighter colors, you can change it up, don't use a dark lip, you know, whatever you want. But I hope you guys enjoyed this because I actually had a lot of fun doing this and I had wanted to do this for like a couple of months and I just didn't know how to approach it. So I'm so glad I did it. So if you enjoyed it, like I said, always give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and let me know if there's something that you want to see next. So thank you again, you know, as always for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Bye.